tackle there as a three technique really good job condensing that pocket and then you see ace ely coming on the wrap so no gain on first second and ten here comes the blitz it's picked up nicely ely trying to get there from behind davis gets away as you said ace ely number two up the middle nice job by the running man to step up dj jones but exceptional coverage on the back end nowhere for carlos davis to go that should be a fun one as well. Corey Reddick in it running back. He gets his first touch of the ball game. Whoa, look out, Charlie Thomas. Didn't get to play in the first half because of the targeting last week. And hello, that's what you love to do out of your money linebacker. Starter Carlos Davis left with an injury on the last drive. So Cole Gonzalez, the true freshman, back for his second drive. Handoff is to Reed, dragged down at his ankles by Charlie Thomas. Get rid of the two deep. Every time you practice, you're going to practice like a starter. Gonzalez on the roll, picked off. Charlie Thomas with an interception, taking it back over the right side. He's got a caravan with him. Past the 15, sidesteps, brought down at the 12. Charlie Thomas, the money linebacker makes. He made the tackle before for a minimal gain and then right in the middle of the field, makes the interception and a great run afterwards. Thomas, only playing in the second half because he missed the first half. Dave, I mean, I am surprised we've only seen four pass attempts in this game as we see another run here off the left side. Well defended by George Attack, but... Kanate Mumfield to the slot on the left. Going to try and get it with Davis, and Georgia Tech's not having it. Ball out! Charlie Thomas picks it up. Thomas eludes one, gets into pit territory and will be brought down around the 16, 17 yard line. Charlie Thomas, he's just gonna come around from the right side of your screen. Vincent Davis doesn't secure the ball. That ball's clearly out. Thomas picks it up. What a turn of events for Georgia Tech as Jalen King, the safety, comes in and knocks the ball out. And the Jackets, after allowing Pitt to... For Jared Wayne, Bartholomew not in the game here. Snap to Slovis, Georgia Tech rushes four. Slovis pumps, throws, and intercepted Charlie Thomas at midfield. Charlie Thomas is made. I don't know why Keenan Slovis throws this ball. Charlie Thomas is sitting right next to Carter Johnson. Johnson doesn't come back to the football. Charlie Thomas does and just takes it away from him. That was one of those where it just seemed like Charlie Thomas wanted the ball. And Carter Johnson has only got one catch on the year. Not usually in that situation. The ball, obviously thrown in the pit bench, and here's Slovis now, after the loss of down, batted in the air, and it's pulled down by Marcus Miner, the left guard. It's been an unbelievable half for Charlie Thomas defensively. How about Charlie Thomas just tossing Jake Cradle? Just tossing him to the side, getting in the backfield, knocking that ball up in the air, and Marcus Miner goes up for, like, possessions, Roddy. How about the aggressiveness by Brent Key going for it on fourth down? Didn't love the call, but I don't mind the decision. Slovis has it batted down by Charlie Tom. He's been unbelievable. He's just been fantastic. There he is. He's going to come right up the middle. Sebo Flemister tries to pick him up. And here's a five-yarder. Mike Elko certainly knows it. Going back the wrong way. Leonard with the time. His arm got hit on the way through. Is that to affect the flight of the football? <laughs> yeah. Staring down. The barrel of a loaded gun when number one's got you in his sights. The AC and Terry Moore. Back into the red zone for a two. Leonard. Tried to fit that one in to run. One thing, one thing to read it. You're going to see down, down here at the bottom. And, and, and you know, he's got his guy covered because of the coverage in the secondary. They'll bring five. Armstrong pressured, able to get out of it. Here goes Brandon Armstrong, and a nice shot by him to get something. And the Tech defense come up again. Shift, Brown to the right. Great job by one, Charlie Thomas. That's what we're talking about as far as instincts. As far as when you're talking about a linebacker getting off the spot, just watch this. Watch, he just shuffles, crosses over, then go. Then just hit it downhill. That's it. Well, Feely on the direct snap, fumbles it, and it's picked up by Georgia Tech. 
Charlie Thomas, the linebacker. Trying to deke out to Ophelia, and he does. It stays on his feet inside the 30, down to the 23. You, you get in the wildcat formation. You have a guy who's not usually taking snaps, take a snap, it's, it's off center, and then, I mean, this is what Georgia Tech's defense does. I mean, they create turnovers. That's the 17th turnover that they've gained and the 39th fumble. Wait a second before he's snapping it. And he does. Here's Hill. This time, nowhere to run. Charlie Thomas. Oh, here. Top gun out there for a reason, catching the football. Here's another quarterback run. Nice job by Charlie Thomas, number 24. He gets taken down. Number one is a football player. You're going to try to come at me and, and, and not stand up and keep you on the balls of your feet, Jesse Hansen. I'm just tougher. Yeah. That's what it's all about, right? Four receivers set. Wells calls his own number. Oh. He got popped at the 40. Up right here. Watch Charlie Thomas. Boom. Just right there in the open field. I Wells. the football. Georgia Tech trying to cover. And the Jackets have it. Tom, you mentioned it earlier. A team that's number three in the country in turnover margin with a costly one earlier. Lawson with the interception for uh, Virginia Tech. Stumbles down 25 yard line, tackled around the ankles. Charlie Thomas. First and 10. And across midfield for Carolina. Green kick in the backfield. It's another. Jake Jones now coming on a tailback. Second down and a long, long way. The screen to Jones goes nowhere. Make every play count in this half. Deep ball. At the 35, and the return the other way for Georgia Tech. Was there a whistle to call the play dead? Back. Why Mac Brown has is, is so cool and calm because I never thought Nesbitt had full control of this football. I think this is an the incomplete pass. It's under yeah. further review. Never had firm control. No. So uh, it was a nice little exercise of everybody run up and down the sideline, but this will come back as an incomplete pass. Well. May, pocket collapsing. Gets away from the first line and he'll be taken down at the 20. Another handoff. Inside the five yard line goes Edwards. 